Hey gang, welcome back to Spellbound Caves. This is Stormy and this is our revisit to this classic Vex map. I was standing here kind of looking around and something occurred to me. I joked at the end of the last episode about hoping I could find the right, you know, place to go up now that the waterfall is gone. And as I was looking around, it was like, you know, anybody who's ever played a Vex map would know. Because, I mean, maybe it's just because I know, but look at that wall, okay? Compared to like, I don't know, that wall is kind of meh, but like that wall and that wall, they're bright and then that wall's all dark and it's spiny and it's just, and, and then, I mean, there was a waterfall there before, but like, seriously, it's got the most dark of just about, whoa, an arrow just went right by my nose and also I just pissed off an enderman. Fantastic. Well, if I stay in the water, I'm safe. Where is he? I'd love to kill you with this looting sword. This is actually how I got a lot of those pearls, was uh, killing them like this. Not with the looting sword, obviously, but bobbing in the water like that. I'd aggro them and then run into the water. It's kind of cheap, but it works, and also our pants broke. Does it really matter? Do leather pants really matter? I feel like when you have a diamond chest plate on, if you die... You were probably in a situation where leather pants would not have mattered at all. <laughs> okay? Like, yeah, if I die with this on, leather pants are not going to save me as it is. Also, oh, sh I didn't mean to push that button. I accidentally pushed the wrong button and cut my damn bind. Dang it, I was working on a plan, game. And then he made me push the wrong button, and then I accidentally placed a torch. <clears throat> And trimmed my stupid vine, and now I'm annoyed. I needed that. And it's gone. So, in other words, I'm not going to worry. What? Was I under it? I was under it. I'm not going to worry at all about going back to get leather pants. It's basically what I was saying there, in case you all couldn't tell. So, also something that occurred to me after last episode, which I finished about, oh, I don't know. 15 minutes ago. Um, oh, piffle shit. I'm out of food. Oh, I was going to grow potatoes. Damn. Well, okay. Let's do this. Let's come back here. We have a ladder partway up, <laughs> at least. Let's do this. I have lots of bones. Darby bones. I wish I had... I don't think... We're going to try something. I don't think it's going to work... Also, I'm sorry if you hear my allergies. I apologize. It is a very polleny time of year. We had an extremely wet winter here, which is great. We needed it. Our drought is actually looking better for the first time in like 20 years. But the downside is uh, all that wonderful winter weather has made spring a boon for wildflowers and allergy sufferers everywhere. Uh... The potato, the, the <laughs> I actually said that on accident. Potato. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna try science. I don't think it works, but we're gonna try it. And oh, I wonder if she's gonna see me. Is she gonna see me? I bet she's gonna see me. Let's keep an eye on her. I don't wanna mess with her if I don't have to. The zombie sees me. I'm not so worried about the zombie. Although he could be annoying. This is not a big garden. He can get to me over the. Yep, yeah, she sees me. This is great because okay, I can't leave because the zombie was guarding guarding the gate, so we're slowed. Anyway, um, all right, hold on. Okay, so that made three, and that made two, and that made three, and that made three. Oh, that one made four. That one made three. Excuse me, I'm doing science. Excuse me, you have no respect for the sciences and the arts and those things. Um, I want to see. Let's see. Uh, let's get this off my bar before I accidentally regen a plant. Oh, I didn't look at how many I had. I think I had 11, so. Okay, 14. I got four. I got two. 
and a poisonous potato. I got three. Three? I forgot. Three at maybe slightly? Oh, well, it's only looting one though. And it does seem to be working. I was getting a slightly higher yield with it than without it. Slightly. Um admittedly it's a very small sample size, and anybody watching this who's actually like uh more experienced in statistics and everything is and you know sampling and all that is probably like cringing but really for my purposes it seems like the looting possibly did in fact affect the drop rate of the potatoes such or much like um looting does or uh fortune fortune right that's it i've only been playing minecraft for like seven years yeah, seven years. You can't expect me to remember the, na uh, the name of one of the best enchantments you can get on a pick. Can you, you? Like, really? Yeah, this is a cute little house. I like it. Uh, I, st I paused there. I don't know if you guys saw that. I paused to make sure I had a seed potato somewhere. Like, did I plant some in the garden? Okay, we're good. I put the whole stack. Because I have cooked my seed potato before. It's so infuriating. And it took us so long to get that one. Well, while we're here, what else do we need? Anyway, yeah, so to get back to the topic from like 10 minutes ago, how do you guys put up with me? I, uh, of course, a lot of you watch Vex, and he's about as bad as I am. He, I, uh, I asked you guys a question last episode about the grass and your opinion on it. The problem is, the problem is, um, sorry, I keep getting a tickle in my throat. I'm, so I'm trying to keep drinking so I don't have to cough. I am sort of batch recording because, so here's how my month of May looks, okay? I'm just going to share a little slice of life with you guys while our potatoes cook. Uh, so, like, May 5th, 6th, and 7th, I'm going to be in Phoenix. And then May, uh, over Mother's Day... And those three days, I'm going to be in Phoenix with my mom. She's still in the hospital in Phoenix, and I don't want her to spend Mother's Day alone. I told my children, you know, God willing, you have a lot more Mother's Days with me because uh, they have to stay home. They have school. So it's like, you know, you guys stay here with your dad, and, you know, I'm sorry I won't be with you guys, but it's kind of important for me to be with your grand, -grand. And they were both like, yes, Mom. It's fine. They understand. They're older kids, so they get it. Um, so I'm going to be down there with her. And then at the end of May... Like the 24th, this isn't completely set in stone. I haven't bought the ticket yet, but it's pretty much a given now. I'm flying to out of state for a friend's wedding. That's exciting. I can't wait for that. <coughs> a very good friend of mine. So, yeah, lots of stuff happening for me in May. So, what I'm saying is I'm trying to batch record a little bit um, so that uh, I don't... I'm trying to get a more regular upload schedule, and I keep saying that, and then I keep failing. Um, but, uh, you know, the scheduler is back. It was gone for a while. It's been back for a while, but I need to remember I can use the scheduler because um, I don't monetize my videos. So for a while, I couldn't use the scheduler, but now I can again. So I need to remember that's there. That's a tool I can use so I can upload videos ahead of time. And, uh, but I have to record the things and then render the things. And that's, well, it's a step one of a couple. I don't do extensive editing, so. Ah, oh, man, I picked up that stupid potato. All right, now we are properly armed and fortified with the delicious, crispy, golden goodness of no blocks on our bar. Also baked potatoes. Um, true story, when I was a kid, like, baked potatoes were my favorite. I would drown them in butter and sour cream, and that was what I ate. I'd put one in the microwave, like, every day for lunch, and I did that for, like, so many years. Um, I don't eat them as much anymore, but I still enjoy them. 
I'm not sure how I ate as many of them as I did when I was a kid, but uh, of course, at the time I was also biking like a lot. I was in, I'd be in Phoenix visiting my dad and I'd bike all over Tempe and Scottsdale. Like places I went, the amount of biking around I did is like, I can't imagine letting my kids do that. Um, but, uh, I figured the potatoes probably, my body liked them because they were, you know, potatoes are easy carbs. Um, you know, I metabolize food real fast, so carbs are really useful for me. Um, and, uh, you know, my body probably recognized it as stone tools and food, stone tools, stone tools and food low. Um, so. Yay, but yeah, so, I don't know. Uh, so I think I might go ahead and do the grass, assuming that you guys... I can't think of a reason why anybody would object. I do have a completely vanilla playthrough of this map on my channel. Whoops. Um, there's gravel everywhere, by the way. You guys might want to look out for that. It's a problem. Oh, and also, I have so much trouble finding where we're going. Just fair warning, like... Please don't get annoyed with me. I'm going to bob around here forever looking. I don't know why, but I can never find it. Um, probably because I always forget what exactly I'm looking for. It's so tucked away. But, uh, so, I mean, I if I'm not going to use the animals for any kind of resources, except just, you know, because I want to see what happens, I can't imagine why that would even be a... Oh, my God, I found it. I can't imagine why that would be any kind of a problem, you know? Um, it's a big kind of world, but there's no grass to the best of my knowledge. Now, to be fair, I have not gone around on the bedrock roof to investigate, so I don't know. Hey, intersection one. Sweet. I, you know why I was going so slow? I honestly could not remember if this... If this hallway was trapped or if I was thinking of one in a different map. And so I was having this moment of, oh, crap. Like, I don't remember. Is there a trap? But no. There is no trap. We have intersection one. We have the tenuous crystals. This away. Love this area. Um, the blackened library over here. I always manage to die. Always manage to die in the blackened library. I'm going to try to break that trend. And victory monument. Uh... Also, this, I was going to make this, like, try really hard to have a no-death run. I realized pretty quickly that uh, eh, I could maybe do it in an older version, but I just have too much trouble with the newer version for whatever reason. I assume it's because of the food, but maybe I'm just bad. I don't know. Uh, so this is an empty room. Um, lit up well enough that I don't think anything can spawn in here. Uh, I don't think anything can. Um, something could in there, I guess. But uh, as you can see, we have a vine problem. There's vines. Bex got happy with vines. So, yeah. You damn troll. What am I supposed to? I can't even see my victory monument. Look at this shit, Bex. <laughs> What'd you do? Turn on some, like, some, like, some, like, some kind of, like, soundtrack and, like, just hold down click on the vines. And just spam, like, seriously, dude. So, we have vines. Uh, we have the victory monument. It is as you would expect. Actually, I really like this room. I just wish there weren't so damn many vines. I have. <coughs> and I think I did. <coughs> when I played this map on my channel. I think I did this. I have cleared out, painstakingly cleared out every single vine in this room. I have done that before. Guess what I'm not doing this time, pets? Guess. Yes. Guess what? Guess what? I am not clearing every vine out of this room. <laughs> okay? I'm not. I will do something cute with this room. I'm not dealing with the vines. I'm not breaking them all out. Uh, I don't even remember actually what I did in my... In my... Uh, uh, when I recorded, because I've actually played it just on my own since I've recorded it. I play this map and every now and then. I don't finish it as much as I start it, but it's a fun way to pass some time. So, let's see. We have the Victory Monument here. This is, this is the goal. 
for anybody who doesn't know, we need to get these blocks, put them on this monument. Each block will be found in a dungeon. We found the white wool in the dungeon we just did. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll bring that over here. Here is the Zestonian Battle Sign Level 2, which is, it has fire aspect on it. Better grade of knockback, so slightly more useful because of the fire aspect, although slightly yes, less because the zombies set you on fudge. I hate it when I break the pants. Zombies set you on fudge. Name of the video. There we go. Okay. Uh, Helion Monument Supply Chest. Light it up. Hello, Joe. Um, here's things. We might use some of these for decorating in our soon-to-be base. And music. And here, you have all the music box, all the records, note blocks, jukebox. So you can have music while you uh, build. Um, we have water here. We have a source of water, which is nice. We can move water around. Uh... I think, hmm, I don't know what I'm going to do up here yet. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But, uh, yeah, I'll find something to do up here for our base. Oh, but here, let me finish showing you guys this. I want to show you guys this. Over here we have, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, move, get out the way. Vines, excuse me. Ugh. Need a break from adventure? Make an awesome balcony. Dig. Um, yeah, so here we have it. Now, something I was actually thinking about doing <coughs> when I can, when do I get a railway kit? Because I was thinking about just making a train from there to up here, but eh, that's not, I mean, that's a cute little tree house down there, but it's not very big, and that little storage room is not going to work for long. I can use it for now. It's not very, well, yeah, it's kind of his fire, isn't it? If I want to get back down there, I probably do have to use that path on type. Bleh. But yeah, I'll throw some chests down in here, and uh, matter of fact, Let's throw a chest down. Toss a few things in there. Don't really need the battle sign right now. Um, I was trying to figure out where, why I had a, uh, why I had the stone, stone sword and stone pick in my right there, and it's like, oh yeah, the got the chest. All right, let's poke something. Let's let's go poke. I want to poke. Now let me think for a minute. Uh, we want to go to the tenuous crystals first, I think. Um, doubt is the open gate through which slips the most fatal of enemies. Right. Profound. Uh, let's see. So this is Blackened Library. We'll pop in here. By the way... Don't fall in those fire pits. They're too deep. You can't get out. Yes, I've died in there. A skeleton spawned back here and shot me down into the fire pit. And I panicked because I was new at the game. And, uh, yeah. Uh, in the grim dark blackness, there is only grim and dark. I mean, really, so just poetic. So, this is Black and Library. And, uh, it's evil... Big cousin, Blackened Archives, lives in Infernal Mines. This is this place. This is a very cool place, but it's not my favorite place simply because it has a tendency to manage to kill me. Because there's so many levels. Uh, there's open, like there's these open walkways, there's a lot of levels, stuff can easily fall on you, and it gets really just, you know, whatever. Maybe I'm just bad. Um... And then up here, let's pop into this other area over here. Tenuous crystals. <clears throat> let's take a little peekaboo. I don't know how long I've been recording. 
It's the problem when I record like multiple episodes in one evening is I lose track of how long each one is. They usually turn out about right though. So this is Tenuous Crystals. I love how this area looks. It's one of my favorite looking areas. I think, um, yeah, just one of my favorite looking areas. Uh, feather Boots, thank you, Vex. Um, it's a pretty area. My render distance is down. I wonder if I can turn up my render distance now and not have my stuff go whack. Let's try it. It's been running pretty well. Um, so, ah, dang it, you guys aren't going to be able to see it, and I don't have any night vision potions. Um, there's a, uh, there's a balcony back there, and that's our objective. So what we want to do is work our way around this lake down here, uh, and, uh, work our way around to that. There's also the thing in the center there. Now that is a bit of a puzzle. We'll take a quick peek. See if we can work out the puzzle. But it is a puzzle. And I will tell you guys why when we get there. We're not there yet. First we gotta kill a few things. Because there is a labeled loot chest over here and I wish to have what it has in it. I don't remember honestly what this one has. Especially later in the map, I'm going to forget like what's in what chest. So, you know, I got that going. At least that's something. And like I said, I did forget uh, cobblestone times 128. Thanks, Vex. I have like so much cobblestone now. Um... You know, little things. Like, I forgot if there were any traps in that hallway. I forget little things. So, meh. Who knows? So there's going to be a bunch of things down here to greet us. Because there's a bunch of dark down here. Kids, you, you see, back in the old days, you could not turn off natural spawns. It was not an option you could really have when making maps in vanilla Minecraft. So the only way you could really control the natural spawns was through use of honeypots. Lit up or areas of dark and light. Ow! Jeez, ow! I'm not even sure what the heck just all just happened there what was all that i got exploded i guess by a creeper and then shot by a skeleton well that was poops i have food i have food let's go back um where's that ledge that you pop out on it shouldn't be too hard to get back. I have a ladder all the way up. Zombie, go away. I don't have time. I'm busy. Up you go. Damn it. I died again. It's going to turn out to be a more death run than the first time I played it. Of course, also the first time I played it, I was being like super, super cautious. Uh, just, you know, really trying to not screw it all up because it was the first thing I recorded, like I said, and I was a little bit nervous, you know, I didn't want to um, play badly. Uh, I guess now I don't care so much about playing badly. I always do try to do well, but, uh, I'm a little bit more likely to, you know, take more chances because, eh. Although I do remember having a little bit of trouble with this area when I played this before, so... 
Now the problem is we've been in we were in here for a minute and then we left. And then we came back. So we've like activated the spawns in this area. And uh yeah, so there's a lot of them. Where'd I die? Oh, right, in the water. That squid just scared the crap out of me, guys. Okay, we got... I don't think that was a creeper that blew up. I think it was TNT that blew up because... Ow. Give me that. Good lord, stop! For one... Ow, minute. Jeez. Jeez, man. Oh, no. Stop, go away, I'm trying to heal. Okay, I don't have my pick yet, apparently. I see you coming, zombie. You think I'm not paying attention, but you're wrong, I am. Um. Blah. I am not healed yet. There I go again. See, there I go again. I'm doing it again. Probably two-thirds of my deaths are due to running off before my dumbass is finished. Look at all these zombies! Okay, I thought I heard a ghast, and I was going to be aghast at the sound. But I don't see one back there. Please, God, don't let there be a creeper behind me right now. Can I please get down there and get my stuff? Ding, 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 there it is. There it is. Okay, we're good. Almost, almost, ow, ow. Skeletons and water are just rage. Just rage. See, X knows it, and that's why he does it. Oh, good, we got our potatoes. Um, Did I not have more torches? I honestly don't think I did, because I think I... Uh, that's the cobblestone. I think I ended up just not making more. I forgot. Somehow I forgot to make more torches. Ow. Stop shooting me, please. Please. I need to slink away and lick my wounds for a minute. I want to get these feather boots. Okay. Anyway, there is a puzzle down there, as I started to say like five hours ago, in the center, and it involves a ghast. I'm trying to remember. I know there's a ghast spawner there, and there's a chest there. Is there TNT there? I forget. I forget why exactly it is, but it is really annoying to get that chest. It's in the center of the room under the gas spawner. So... But I will try my best to get it. I don't remember. I think you have to get to the spawner before anything spawns. Um, and of course, the problem with that is, is it, uh, you can't, uh, it's not a simple thing to get to do that, basically. Um, sorry. Um, I lost the hole already. I just came out it. How the hell did I lose it again? Like, so soon. Where did it go? I really should have made it a bigger hole. Ah, there it is. There. That's... I guess visible enough. Um... I guess for right now, what I'll do, instead of trying to get down, I'll just run over here to this ladder. 
<laughs> and I'll deal with making a stairway up and down later. That this is probably not as quick, but it's not bad. It didn't take long. I don't know why, by the way, this whole side is flat. I didn't do that. I've got I've got trunks. I guess like when they grew, they just it it's weird. It's just weird. It's so flat. Like, there's no variation to them whatsoever. I couldn't... I had so much trouble growing one of the big granddaddy trees, too. I was like, man, when I want one, I can't get one. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Groan, growl. Be creepy. Do your thing. It's fine. Just... Leave me alone, I'm thinking. So what are we doing? Let's see. I guess we're going back into Tenuous Crystals, right? I want to do that area. I think technically Black and Library is next. Technically. But if I go hop. Look at that. Don't look at that Enderman. If I go approximately, or if I go in a slightly different order um, to the one I think you're intended to do, I can make some of the areas slightly easier. So that's what I think we're going to do. I think we're going to go to Tenuous Crystals and then try to get at least... I almost looked at that Enderman. At least partway through the... Of course, I have like a whole Enderman base right, right here. Um, and get partway through another area. Just poke into there long enough to get something and then run back out and uh <laughs> that would make black and library slightly less harrowing so i am going to i'm gonna pause i'm gonna grow some more potatoes um do some thinking about uh how i want to tackle this area and i will be back with you guys in just a bit don't go away <laughs> 